Good evening. This is CTV News for Monday, July 16th. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Sonia Shervasva. Thank you for joining us. Topping our news tonight, controversy continues within the Prince George's County public school system. That's right. A dispute between two county school board members ends up in court. Well, Edward Burroughs is granted a temporary peace order against his colleague, school board chair Sigun Newbanks. The move comes after a scuffle during a board of education meeting last week where Burroughs alleges that Eubanks pushed him up against a wall and threatened physical harm. The restraining order means Eubanks is not allowed to have any unlawful contact with his colleague until this trial date next week. Burroughs agreed to the terms but says it won't be easy because there is a board meeting this Thursday. I am worried because, uh, frankly, I always state my views and they're often uh, different than the views of the board chair. And I don't want to have to keep looking over my shoulder to see if he's going to, you know, go out of control. And so I'm actually still worried about that, to be honest. Essentially, today was just the temporary peace order. Um, the counsel for the respondent has consented to the temporary peace order. Um, without any entry of finding of facts, and we will be back to appear for the final hearing next week. Now, Eubanks was not present during today's hearing, but was represented by counsel. The school board chair also has a criminal case pending regarding the incident. He faces second-degree assault charges. A showdown is looming now that Metro's largest union has overwhelmingly authorized a potential transit system strike. This just as thousands of tourists arrive for the All-Star Game. Local union president Jackie Jeter says that 94 percent of voters approved the measure. We talked with a commuter at the Largo station about the action. Treated fairly, you know, if they're not being paid right or if they're not being well respected, then they need to be. So it needs to be a strike. I know it's going to affect a lot of people who catches the bus and the train and stuff like that, but they need to understand what if that was your mother, your grandmother, your cousin, your family member, and they're being mistreated. You would want them to be treated, you know, well, right? So I'm with the strike. I'm sorry. You know, I know it's going to affect some people, but hey, we got to all stand together. The transit agency released a statement this afternoon saying, quote, the authority does not want customers to suffer from additional service interruptions. Now, dialogue is ongoing between management and union officials to identify common ground on these matters while keeping Metro safe, reliable and affordable for the region. State officials say a software vendor that maintains part of Maryland's voting system has ties to a wealthy Russian investor. Maryland officials made the announcement late Friday, hours after the Justice Department indicted 12 Russians for interfering in the 2016 elections. Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch has launched an investigation into the matter. Governor Larry Hogan says he and other high-ranking lawmakers were recently briefed by the FBI. We've been assured that at this point there's a redundancy of checks and balances that no, nothing untoward has happened. No laws have actually been broken, but in, in an abundance of caution, we reached out to the Homeland Security uh, Secretary to say we want them to come in and do a thorough analysis. We're working with the FBI, uh, but at th this point, there's nothing else uh, to report. And Hogan says information from the feds did not indicate that any wrongdoing or criminal activity had taken place. He's asking the Department of Homeland Security to help evaluate Maryland's voting system. The trial for a former University of Maryland student charged with killing second Lieutenant Richard Collins has been delayed again until January, the, January 2019 this time. Shauna Bansky, who is white, is charged with murder and a hate crime in the killing of Collins, a black Bowie State University student. Collins was visiting the campus in May 2017. He was stabbed while waiting for an Uber and died en route to the hospital. Now, Urbanski was originally scheduled to stay in trial in January 2018, but it was pushed back to this month. Now, a judge granted the second delay on Monday.